Don't pick your skin, pick bandage. Hey guys, what's up? It is my face story here today, and I am here to talk to you guys about green tea and how green tea is a super effective treatment for acne. I myself drink green tea every single day. There's different forms of green tea, different potencies. I personally love matcha. Matcha is green tea that comes from like the actual leaf. So it's the baby leaf ground up. So you're getting all of the nutrients, all of the antioxidants, all the good stuff. I really love matcha. I think it has like, I can't remember the exact number, maybe 20 times as many antioxidants as one cup of green tea. So it is pretty powerful. Let's get into why green tea is effective treatment for acne. The first thing, green tea is extremely anti-inflammatory. As we all know, acne is an inflammatory disease and if you have acne, it's likely that you have higher levels of inflammation in your body. As acne suffers, genetically we have higher levels of IGF-1, which is an inflammatory hormone in our bodies. Green tea works to effectively reduce inflammation, which is awesome. Um, good for body aches, good for acne, good for anything that you can think of as inflammatory. Inflammation is good. It is a natural response to being hurt, but the problem is when inflammation goes haywire and it doesn't stop, it becomes a vicious cycle of inflammation and thus acne. You can even poke around on acne.org and see how people have claimed that drinking green tea every single day has cleared up their skin and they don't say that there's any specific number. Some say six cups. I feel like that's kind of a lot. Um, I would definitely get the decaffeinated version because I know caffeine can break some people out, yourself included, um, because it does rise cortisol levels, also known as stress hormones. So maybe just drinking, I would say about trying for three cups a day or if you don't want to drink that many, maybe drink matcha instead, which again is like the whole leaf and has like 20 times the amount of antioxidants as green tea. I feel like matcha is amazing. I, I, I just love it. I love it. The strong anti-inflammatory effects are associated with a polyphenol, I think that's how you pronounce it. It's like ACGCs. The antioxidants power is 100 times more potent than vitamin C and E. Um, that goes on inflammatory effects. Green tea is more potent than those vitamins themselves, which is kind of insane. So I do have a study here. According to acneeinstein.com, 15 out of 22 studies showed a positive antioxidant effect from green tea. Epidermological studies also show lower levels of DNA damage and inflammatory damage in heavy green tea drinkers, which means six or more cups per day, which again, I feel like is a lot. I don't know, I guess if you love green tea, maybe it's not that much, but I don't even, I don't, honestly, I don't know if I drink water that much. I try to, but that's a lot. Second reason, drinking green tea actually manages blood sugar levels or blood sugar levels or blood glucose levels. It's been proven that Drinking green tea is actually beneficial as well for people with diabetes because it helps to maintain the blood sugar levels. As you guys know, I have been a really strong proponent for either anti-inflammatory or low GI diets when it comes to acne. And low GI diets, what they do is they manage your blood sugar levels so you won't get a crazy spike or crazy drop. Green tea does the same thing. It helps keep your blood sugar levels stable. If you get a crazy spike or crazy drop, that is going to stress out your body and send your hormones into like a haywire state. Um, and again, cause inflammation, causing acne. And another study for you guys, this study from Japan showed that six cups of green tea a day reduced the risk of developing type two diabetes, so again, managing blood sugar levels, by 33%. Women drinking one to six cups per week reduced the risk by 21%, and one to two cups per day reduced the risk by 34%. Three to five cups per day reduced the risk by 39%, six or more cups, 51%. Though the results vary, the overwhelming evidence, is that it does have a great effect on managing blood glucose levels or blood sugar levels, um, managing your insulin, which is awesome for people who suffer with hormonal acne. Which gets me into my third point. Green tea can help to actively balance your hormones. So again, the IGF-1 gene I was talking about, that is inflammatory hormone or gene, it can actually work to manage that and keep the level lower, kind of well, it squashed that inflammation, which again is super awesome for people with acne. Green tea also balances the androgen hormones, which are like the sex hormones. Um, and if you have too many, or like too many free ones, green tea actually works to bind itself to those free hormones so that you have a more balanced hormonal state. Again, so it's not like reducing them, it's actually attaching itself to them so that it is more balanced, which is also pretty cool. One more study for you guys, last one. 
According to Lifestrong.com, blood estrogen levels were 13% lower on women who regularly drink green tea when compared to irregular tea drinkers, according to a study in May 2005 issue of the Journal of Carcinogenesis. I can't freaking talk today. Carcinogenesis. Carcinogenesis. I think that was right. Carcinogens? Yeah. I guess my final thoughts are, yes, green tea is a super effective treatment for acne. It works to manage blood sugar levels, reduce inflammation, and actively balance hormones. I've noticed a huge, huge, huge dramatic improvement in my skin since I have been drinking green tea every single day. Probably for about like seven or eight months, I've been drinking it every single day. Maybe even longer than that. But again, green tea or matcha, any tea that you really want to drink, you can look for the words like strong antioxidants, anti-inflammatory, and depending on if your body handles caffeine or well, there are green tea versions that are caffeine free that will still have all the antioxidants in them that you need for your skin, which is great. And all green tea does seem to be a super acne fighter, um, not just tackling it from one situation like a topical or something like that does, but it takes a multifaceted approach in you know, taming inflammation and balancing blood sugar and also balancing hormones. So I do think it's really a good choice and it's also natural and you're not really gonna have like any bad or weird side effects from it, you know? So give green tea a try, get to Bruin, let me know how it goes. This video qualifies for a bash kit giveaway. So all you have to do is leave a comment below, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and in the comment below, tell me, have you tried green tea for your acne? Yes or no? If you have, has it helped? All right, guys. Bye. See you next time.